Hi, I'm Mike Gannon, and you're watching Ustream.tv. This will also be on YouTube. I'm with Lynn Frantangible, uh, co-owner of the bakery restaurant, and uh, Lynn is here to talk about the art event. I'm excited because I, I might be able to attend the next one. Uh, I got my own painting brush, and, and, I, and I brought it here with me, uh, Lynn. Uh, do you think this will... Uh, I, I think that will be perfect. Think it'll do? I think that will do. Okay, good. So, because I'm ready. Lynn, why don't you tell us about the, uh, the art event and uh, the date and time and, and what's okay. going to happen. Um, the art event is uh, an event that we have at the bakery once a month. We started three months ago. We have uh, two instructors that come in, Susan Poole and her daughter Elena Jones. And uh, one instructs and then the other is going around and guiding as, as you need it. Um, they come in, they have a, we have a different painting that we do each month and they just guide you from the beginning to the end uh, with different techniques. They also have a patent pending technique that they use uh, to help guide you in the process. And um, we also serve dinner prior to, prior to starting the event. We start at 5.30 in the evening on the evening that we do and we'll eat at 5.30 and then at 6 o'clock we put on our aprons and begin to paint. For this event, what's, uh, what are you going to serve for dinner? Uh, for this event, we'll be serving chicken salad on a croissant with a cup of chicken and wild rice soup. And then during our break time, we'll have our homemade cookies. Well, Jeff's got the award-winning chicken salad. It's really good. It uh, is. It's I like very that. Good. Um, so we're not on our own. We're not out in the cold just trying to throw some paint and make it look good. They're going to step by step run us along in this uh, process. Right. From the beginning, they'll, they'll guide you one step at a time, getting your background together and then putting each piece on as you go. Everybody's painting turns out very different. Um, I mean, they all have the same, you, you see the same concept and the same idea, but everybody's painting, of course, is very individualistic. Well, mine's going to be better because I, I have such a fine brush. That so, so It should really have it, you think? its own style. Okay, good. Um, so, uh, the first, uh, the picture that we're going to be doing here in June is uh, this picture coming up now, and uh, tell us about it. Okay, the title of the picture is Adirondack Chairs, and it is a beach scene. Um, we're going to be using a, a masking technique, which she's actually going to be using like a sticker technique to cover for the Adirondack Chairs. We'll do all of our background around that, and then pull those off and put our chairs in. It's also great for a couple uh, picture because you could do one chair on each of the each of the paintings, and then they would hang on opposite walls, which is a, a nice idea. We did that with our historical tree, also where you could split the tree, and um, it's it's really just a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to the the beach scene because you also can add your own uh, touches at the end, a sailboat or a frog or um, a corona if you like. Okay. <laughs> Previously, you've done some other pictures, and uh, we can show uh, the first one you did. Uh, it's coming up here. Um, explain this picture. Okay, the first one is Ron's Caddo, and it was actually copied after, I believe, the photographer was uh, Ron Munden, and they uh, styled it after a photo of his, of Caddo Lake. And I chose that particular painting because Caddo Lake is so important to our area, and I just, I just felt like you know, it would, people would enjoy uh, the Caddo scene. We had a great time painting it, and we are looking at painting another Caddo scene in the future because it was, it was popular. It, it is. I, I grew up in Cleveland and never had experienced these type of trees and the Spanish moss, so I think it's interesting. The other picture uh, that we have is the poppies. Uh, uh, it's wildflower trails. Wildflower. See, I don't know them from weeds. Uh, it's my problem. Yes, well, and we have a lot there that I, I guess with the dandelions too, some people think of dandelions as weeds, but they're wildflowers and pretty in our picture, but that was our second event. We did the wildflower trails. It was, it was a, a, a lot of fun, um, very fast-paced painting um, at, at one point because you didn't want the, the scene to dry and you had to scratch your, your little weeds in in the background. And, we were all laughing and getting nervous, and that, that's the fun of the event is we spend so much time. You, it's, it's not quite as relaxing as people would think. It's actually you laughing and you're getting tense, and, 
and but it's a great it, it's it's so much fun it really is can we bring wine you can bring <laughs> wine yes or beer if you choose we will have a, a a bucket for you to put the wine in to help keep it cold but uh, we encourage you to bring wine if you like that makes it even a better event that's, that's right <laughs> and the first one of course was the tree and we're showing that here and uh, yes the next one is the historic old oak and um I felt like they, they came out to be really good. We had some, we had two couples that did this one, which was different from our other events, uh, to see the couples working, and they were actually doing something very different from what we were because their tree was split in half, so all of their starting points were at different points than ours, and, and then to see them take theirs and put them together. So the historical tree was a lot of fun, and uh, they came out totally different. I really don't know that many of them looked like the artist painting, but they had such a... a almost had an abstract, very colorful, I've, I've enjoyed that painting too. There were a lot of variations. I like mm -hmm. Jennifer and Jeremy had right. uh, done some neat little things with theirs. And, it, it was. And that makes a, a permanent picture you can hang in your home and, uh, right. and show your friends. Uh, I did one one time and it turned out horribly. The paints kind of ran and it looked like a Van Gogh picture of a face and it, uh, somebody actually bought it from me. <laughs> so, uh, the date for this event is? The date is Tuesday, June the 19th. This is going to be our uh, weekday event. We'll try to do one periodically on the weekday. We typically do them on Saturdays, but it will be on Tuesday, June 19th at 530. Okay. Sounds like fun. Plan to be there. I'll probably be there. Thank you.